Midnight Saturday with Tim Kavanaugh. Tonight, Luis Guzman with musical guest Jenny Johnson. And now, from Alumni Auditorium, here's Tim. Hey! <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. All right, that's it. Oh, my goodness. Wow, what a wonderful audience. Welcome to Late Night Saturday, folks. Hey, how about all of this news in Hollywood going on today? Madonna was recently auditioning children in Malawi, Africa to play the role of her adopted son. Yeah. <laughs> the audition included voguing talking in a fake British accent, and refusing to age gracefully. <laughs> Seriously, folks. Uh, Madonna and husband Guy Ritchie have decided to adopt a young African boy named David. The couple will have temporary custody of David before the courts of Malawi will evaluate them. Yes, in exchange. In exchange, though, for David, the local government has asked for several of Madonna's fabled pointy bras. <laughs> These bras, of course, will become the country's largest export. <clears throat> Not to be outdone, though, Angelina Jolie has offered to donate her ginormous lips to Namibia, <laughs> thus creating an African coalition of countries made famous by aging Hollywood harlots. <laughs> All right, folks, brace yourselves. We have got a terrific show for you tonight. We have got Luis Guzman in the house. Yes. Plus, plus you will hear the funkadelic sounds of Miss Jenny Johnson. But, but before we get to all that, it's time to go ahead up to the studio audience and give away some prizes, and we do that with the local icon of the Church Street Marketplace. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Lois the Hot Dog Lady, and the word of the week. If you all right did you did you see that word of the week yes you did indeed all right how are you good how are you your name is cora cora that's a very nice name cora Thank you. where do you live in south burlington in south burlington all right and you're, you're here tonight here with some friends my friend megan Megan, how are you, Megan? <laughs> All right, you ready to, uh, to maybe win a prize? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. All right, good enough then. You saw that word of the week, yes. right? All right, what we need you to do is give us a definition for that word of the week and uh, maybe use it in a sentence. Do you think you can do that? I think so. All right then, Cora. Why don't you look right into the camera here and uh, give us the definition of knockwurst. Knock, oh. Knockwurst? It's kind of a thick, short, highly seasoned sausage All right, thing. good. <laughs> All right, good, very good. We'll, uh, we'll take sausage things, sure. All right, Cora, do you think that you can use that in a sentence for us? Sure. I really don't like to eat knockwurst. You really don't like to eat knockwurst. All right, let's hear it for Cora. All right, Cora, you know what that means. It's now time to turn things over to the lovely Miss Jen Jen for a spin on the wheel. Let's go ahead and see what you're going to win. And here it goes. All these lovely prizes from, from some of our sponsors. Oh, and it's landed on Pauline's for you. Oh, Cora, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, you have won dinner for two at Pauline's Cafe featuring wild and cultivated edibles from the Lake Champlain region for over 25 years. Pauline's Restaurant on Shelburne Road. <laughs> All right, and we'll be right back with more right after this. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Be sure to listen to Classic Hits Cool 105 for highlights from this week's show.
Honey, I'm almost ready. What was that, honey? Tonight's episode of Late Night Saturday is brought to you by Electricity. For when you need to power up. Wow. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for being with us. Tonight's guest really needs no introduction at all, except that in addition to starring in nearly 100 films and television productions, he is the biggest Puerto Rican landowner in the state of Vermont. Please, please welcome to the stage, Luis Guzman! My goodness. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Yeah? Things are going well for you, obviously. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't they be? Hey. You, you live in paradise on top of a mountain, is that correct? That's right. Yeah. Couple of acres, right? Couple. Yeah. Just a couple. I used that quote from, uh, from those folks at WCAX on, on the news, the, the largest Puerto Rican landowner in the state. That's is right. Is that all right? You said it right on Channel 3. <laughs> You said it right there. What's it like up there? Uh, what's it like up there? Um, pretty quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, could hear myself think up there. Really? Quite a bit, yeah. And uh, it's beautiful, man. It's what they call God's country up there. Yeah, I bet as you were telling me, you had, um, you've got a, a maple grove up there, so, so you boil your own sap in the spring. Puerto Rican maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> got a little kick to it then, Woo! huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you recently had some uh, some strangers walk across your lawn with the, with the four-legged friends, huh? Oh, yeah. Um, there was a moose. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a conversation. Yep. And, um, you know, I say, look, I know you're from around here and stuff like that, <laughs> and I'm okay with it. I hope you don't mind me walking around here, too. And, uh, and the moose, of course, talked back to you, right? Yeah, he said, yeah, I'll see you around. <laughs> he wasn't going to mess with you, oh, was he? Oh, no, no, I wasn't going to mess with him either. <laughs> Moose is saying, I saw Carlito's way. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't you? No, oh, you can't be. <laughs> he thought I was the guy from Ghost, but I had to correct him. Yeah, that is correct. You are not the guy from Ghost. That's right. Anybody here see me in Ghost? <laughs> Say no. They Say know. no. OK, good. <laughs> the love of God, I'm sitting next to him. Right on. Uh, you live up there with your, with your family. Let's talk about your family for a Yeah, uh, well, we have uh, five children. Okay. Uh, four which are adopted. That's wonderful. And uh, two of them are right here right now. That's right over here in the, the audience? Yeah, and that's Let's a nice right. round of applause for them. Yo! What are their names? Uh, that's... That's, uh... The little one over there is Luna. Luna, stand up. <laughs> and, and Yemaya, Yemaya, stand up. Stand up. <laughs> all right, all right, sit down. I want to tell you, folks, this is a miracle. The only time they have listened to me in years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, four adopted children. And uh, you were also a social worker for a while before you, before you moved here. What about that? You did that for eight years, nine years? I did years? that eight years in New York City on uh, the Lower East Side. Yep. Uh, my job was to build up teenagers' self-esteem, their self-confidence. Good for you. And, um, you know, getting these young people to believe in themselves and make a future for themselves. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you probably think about it. How, how many years ago was that now? What year is this? This was... <laughs> I think, like about, man, I think it's like about, man, I think we're looking, we're thinking, oh, man, this must have been a good 15, 16 years ago now. Okay. And you're from New York City, is that correct? New, you, well, you, I was you, born you, in Puerto Rico. Right. Spent a lot of time in, in Manhattan, though. Lower East Side, East Village, yeah. West Village, um, pretty much there, yeah. Yeah. 
Let's get into a little bit about uh, some of the projects you're working on. I know you're a busy guy. You, you've, uh, you've recently just shot something, but you're also in this film, Disappearances, which is directed by uh, Jay Craven here yeah. in Vermont. You had, a, you had a fun experience on that, you said. Yeah, I got to play a monk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, dreams come true. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we shot that up in, uh, in the Northeast Kingdom. Yep. Uh, I shot one day on Lake Willoughby. I've never seen so many weather changes in one day. <laughs> and uh, no, it was great being able to support a Vermont filmmaker. Right. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Are you, uh, I know that they're touring the state right now with it. They're, uh, they're doing, I, th I think, a 100-city tour or something like that with their 100-day tour. Are you going to any of the showings at all for it, or? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm so busy and, and, you know, I gotta hang out with my kids and stuff like that because I'm, I'm on the road so much. But right. um, they, they had an opening up here in Essex and I showed up to that. So does that count for one? That counts for one. <laughs> you get bonus points there. Yeah, Way to go. Baby. Yeah, good for you. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna t turn it over to a break right now and we're gonna come back in just a couple minutes. Folks, we'll be right back with more Late Night Saturday right after this. <laughs> To appear as a guest on Late Night Saturday, visit our website and let us know about your special talent. Oh, welcome. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're here talking with Luis Guzman here, and uh, we're having quite a little conversation. Uh, an electric audience out there tonight. Oh, Aren't yeah, they great? Right. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, they are. A absolutely. Uh, let's talk a little bit more uh, on the acting side of things. How did you get into acting? Um, I was walking <clears throat> down the street one day. You, you heard that story? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was walking down the street one day, and um, I was a social worker. New York City, East Village, Lower East Side. And uh, I was looking for two kids that didn't show up to my program that day. And I ran into a friend of mine, uh, Miguel Pinero, who was a playwright, poet. And at the time, he was writing for Miami Vice. He says, hey, Lou, you know, they're coming to New York, and uh, why don't you see if you could get a part? He gave me a phone number. I went. I auditioned. Had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> um, I got the job. And uh, all I wanted to get out of it was enough money to buy me a used car so I can drive to the beach on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's really how I got my start in the business. But what happened to the car? Oh, man. <laughs> I bought the car. I lent it to my friend, Eddie. <laughs> and after one day, he crashed it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm still making movies. <laughs> You're too young to retire anyway. Thank hey, you. Speaking of movies, one of my favorites is The Count of Monte Cristo that you're in. I think it's a wonderful character that you play. Thank you. And uh, we want to... Uh, We've got a quick clip. We've got a clip that we want to show the folks at home of uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. Here it comes. Tatara, the boat cannot hold no more, and there are at least eight more boatloads down there. Do you not understand? You are wealthier than any man I have ever heard of. Whatever your problems were, they are over. What do you want to buy? Revenge. Okay, revenge. Who? Dong Lao, beautiful. Fernand and Mercedes. Right. We kill these people, then we spend the treasure. No, we will study them. Learn their weaknesses. Why not just kill them? I'll do it. I'll run up to Paris, bam, 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 bam. I'm back before week's end. We spend the treasure. How is this a bad plan? Death is too good for them. They must suffer as I suffered. They must see their world, all they hold dear, ripped from them as it was ripped from me. You would need a better name than Tatara if you are to accomplish that. Then I shall become a cop. All right. All right, thank you. The Count of Monte Cristo. 
Neat story about uh, neat story about how you created that character. Yeah. Uh, well, I got to Ireland, and um, uh, all these people were speaking with a funny accent. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's true. And um, I had no clue, you know, where to go with this character. You know, it was like, okay, how am I going to do this? And I went to a wardrobe fitting, and I still hadn't captured the idea of Chaka for who he was. And they put me in that beautiful red outfit that I wear at the Grand Ball. And I turned around, and I looked in the mirror, and I said, that's the guy. <laughs> and uh, pretty much the director just told me, Kevin Reynolds, he said, hey, man, make it your own. And, and that's what I did, and I had fun. I had fun doing it. It was, it was a great, great movie and a great story. And a heck of a job that you did in it. Thank you. We're going to be right back with more Late Night Saturday right after this. Stick around. Welcome back to Late Night Saturday. Tonight's musical guest has been singing blues, funk, and jazz since she was a teenager in New York City. Please welcome to the Late Night Stage, Jenny Johnson.
Thank you very much. Welcome back. Boy, we had a great show um, th this evening. Tune in next week when my guests will be Hollywood actor Reen Kirby, Amber De Laurentiis. Thanks for watching, and remember to go out and support local talent like the folks that you saw here tonight. We'll see you next time on Late Night Saturday. Take it away, Jenny. <laughs> Someone to cling to me, stay with me.